example so in this example what we have to prove if x is greater than 0 that means if x is positive its multiplicative inverse is also positive or you can say its reciprocal is also positive but if x is negative number then its reciprocal is also negative number for example 2 what is multiplicative inverse of 2 it is 1 by 2 2 is positive so obviously 1 by 2 is also positive if you take 5 you will have 1 by 5 both of them are positive you will never have number is positive but its inverse is negative it's not possible for multiplicative inverse okay and if you take any negative number for example minus 3 what will be the multiplicative inverse of minus 3 it will be 1 upon minus 3 that means again it is a negative number so th same thing we have to prove if x is positive its inverse is positive and if x is negative then its inverse is also multiplicative inverse is also negative so we have to prove these two things so first of all we will work on first part okay so in first part we have we have what we have x is real number right and x is greater than 0 and what we have to prove we have to prove that its multiplicative inverse is also greater than 0 this thing we have to prove you remember the law of trichotomy this law says there are only three possibilities either the number is 0 or equal is greater than 0 or it is less than 0 so i will write here by by law of trichotomy law of trichotomy x inverse is equal to 0 or x inverse is less than 0 or x inverse is greater than 0 exactly one of these three is true either this one is, this one is true or this one is true or this one is true so we will discuss all these cases so our case number one is x inverse is equal to 0. So let us see what will happen if I consider x inverse is equal to 0. We know that. So we know one thing that is x into x inverse is equal to 1 because it is a multiplicative inverse. So obviously their product is 1. But right now we have considered x inverse is equal to 0. So that's why I can put its value here. So therefore, x into 0 is equal to 1. See, 0 into anything, 0 obviously is equal to 1. Is it possible 0 is equal to 1? No, it is not possible. I will mention here, it is not possible. So therefore, this case is wrong. Getting it is not true. Therefore, this case is not true so that's why x, x inverse is not equal to 0 therefore x inverse is not equal to 0 so let us go for case number 2 what is our case number 2 x inverse is less than 0 x inverse is less than 0 see what is the information we have we have we have we have x is greater than 0 okay so therefore see therefore what we are getting we are getting x inverse is less sorry huh? it is we have x inverse is less than 0 and x is greater than 0 see if i multiply both sides by x so inequality will be maintained since that kind of result we have so therefore x inverse into x less than 0 into x i will tell you the result which i use here a less than b and c is greater than 0 if you multiply both sides by c so same inequality is maintained getting so our c is nothing but x here and a and b this is a and this is b so i use that result here what will happen x inverse into x 1 since these are inverses of each other multiplicate inverses and 0 into anything 0 is it possible 1 less than 0 no 1 is greater than 0 no so this is not possible this is not possible so therefore this case is also wrong this case is also wrong so therefore x inverse is not less than 0 getting it is is already we had considered less than 0 it is not true that means x inverse is not less than 0 so 
first case is not possible we have written here second case is also not possible so obviously the last case is true we have to no any other option so therefore x inverse is greater than 0 and the same thing we have to prove okay so you can make a screenshot of it so i will write that thing on the board so therefore the only last possibility is x inverse is greater than 0 getting so therefore what is our conclusion if x is positive is inverse is also positive you can make a screenshot of it after that we will go for second sub question so in second sub question we have x is negative and what we have to prove its inverse is also negative okay so see uh, as you know by law of trichotomy by law of trichotomy there are only three possibilities either inverse is whatever the number we have it is zero or greater than zero or less than zero so let me write that thing okay i will write it properly okay. by law of trichotomy okay so either x inverse is equal to zero or x inverse is greater than zero or x inverse is less than 0. So let us start to work on each of these cases. Case number 1 is obviously x inverse is equal to 0. Okay, so let us see what will happen. We know that we know that we know very basic thing that x into x inverse is equal to 1 since these are multiplicative inverses of each other. But what we have assumed in this case we have assumed x inverse is equal to 0 is equal to 1. So, x into 0, 0 is equal to 101 percent, it is not possible. So, that's why, yeah, this case is also not true. I will mention that thing. This is not possible, which, okay. This is not true. So, therefore, this case is also not true this case is also not true so therefore therefore x inverse cannot be zero so that means first case fails here so right now we have a two options either this one is true or this one is true let us start to discuss second case case number two case number two is x inverse is greater than zero so we have so we have what we have x inverse is greater than 0 and x is less than 0 see the given information is x is less than 0 and in this case we have assume x inverse is greater than 0 so if you multiply any inequality by positive real number inequality will be maintained so that's why if you multiply both sides by x x into h x inverse greater than x into 0 i will mention the result which i use here a greater than b and c is positive then ac greater than bc inequality is maintained it is not changed here get it so x into x inverse 1 and 0 c uh, x inverse greater than 0 so inequality will get changed no it's negative huh, sorry it is negative so inequality will get changed so here also if x inverse is greater than 0 and multi multiplying by negative number so inequality will get changed so this is less than and you know that 0 into anything 0 so 1 is less than 0 which is not possible okay this is wrong this is wrong why we are getting wrong result because our assumption is wrong that means this case is also not true this case is not true so therefore x inverse is cannot greater than 0 so first we proved first possibility is not true second possibility is also not true so only we have a last possibility that is x inverse is less than zero getting so therefore we can say x in x inverse is less than zero let me write all these things but before that you can make a screenshot of it so therefore only remaining remaining possibility is x inverse is less than zero so therefore what we conclude here if x is negative its multiplicative inverse is also negative so in this way we have proved this one so you can make a screenshot of it after that we will stop thank you bye bye